Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So Easter is coming up and we are going to paint this bunny. I actually bought it last year and then never got around to painting it. Um, this is a, a terracotta bunny, you know, so I guess you would put it in your garden or something. I don't know, but we're going to paint it. Um, you can prime something like this ahead of time if you want your colors to stand out a little more. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go right over it. And um, if you seal it, it should be fine to actually be outside. So you could use this as a decoration. I'm using spring colors. So I'm using my Artist Loft Flow Acrylics white, yellow, and blue. Everything here is mixed with Floetrol and water. And the materials are all down in the description along with the mixing ratios. Um, this green that I'm gonna use here is also Artist Loft, just regular Artist Loft acrylic paint. And then I have two colors here that are Arteza metallic paints. So I have a metallic pink here. I'm trying to use the spring colors and not just blues. And then this is a metallic purple, also from Arteza. Okay, so I'm gonna put more white in here. And then I think I definitely want some more pink. And that should be pretty good. This is a 9 by 12 canvas, so don't need too much paint. And I think this is an 8 ounce cup, so that should be good. Alright, I haven't given too much thought to how I'm going to pour over this bunny, but I'm going to just go for it, and I guess my goal is to try to get him covered. And then worry about the canvas secondly. I've never poured a bunny before, so... The first for me and I guess while I'm pouring here let me know down in the comments if you guys have poured a bunny before and also um, let me know where you're watching from that's actually really fun to find out you know people are all over the world uh, this is coming out really pretty I am digging these colors I'm going to hit up a couple spots with my fingers, just want to make sure that they do get fully covered. And then I need to put more paint on this side of the canvas, so there we go. <laughs> His butt is very green. <laughs> Alright, next issue. I have not thought with how I'm going to take the bunny off of the canvas. Should have thought of that beforehand. Okay. You know, you learn. So I'm going to gently pick him up. The paint is going to keep moving down, so I'm not too worried if I make a couple finger marks or something. They should theoretically be covered. So I'm going to just gently... Okay, not, not working as well as planned. All right. <laughs> it's a slippery bunny. <laughs> All right. That guy is going to just hang. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do the canvas. And good news is it looks like I have plenty of paint here. I kind of feel like I should have put maybe a little more purple in there, but I like it. So as always, when you use an object on the canvas, it creates different patterns. And I am really digging this pattern here. Created by Mr. Bunny. So it's a really nice spring themed painting. All right, also down in the comments, feel free to let me know any other spring painting projects you guys are getting done or, done or Easter painting projects. I still have some eggs to do, some Easter eggs that I'm going to acrylic pour and I might even resin some, we'll see. There we go. I really like that. I do have a little spot on the corner here that wasn't fully gotten. I'm gonna take just a little more paint from my cup and just hit that corner. I don't really wanna tilt it much more. Okay. And there we go, all right. So there you have it. I'm not going to move the bunny. 
until he's all dry. And then there probably will be some paint that I'll have to scrape off of the bottom. Not too stressed about that. And I will be sealing it with Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Let me know what Easter things y'all got going on and I will see you next time. Hey guys, I just wanted to come back and show you these pieces dry also because I forgot to do a close up. So here is the painting. It is completely dry at this stage. I am super in love with how it came out. Look at the sides even are amazing. And here is our adorable little bunny. He's so cute. Dried very well. Here's the back. Missed a couple little spots. Not worried. It's not a big deal. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. See you next time.